Hello and welcome to Hexed Encountered. My name is Joe. Today I am going to be playing OOTP 24. That is out of the park baseball number uh, 24. I almost said number 24. Um, but yes, it's OOT baseball 24. Um, I've been playing this series since the very first game, so I have a, a lot of history with it. And uh, currently, I run a fictional league using uh, still OOTP 23 because we typically don't upgrade until we are in between seasons and all the bugs are worked out of the new version, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But that league is called Figment League, and um, I'll stick a link for it in the description, but um, that's an ongoing fictional league. And it has fictional teams and fictional players and fictional owners and coaches and all that stuff, managers, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, all in kind of a real-world setting. So the things that happen outside baseball take place in this, uh, you know, universe. We, um, I started it in 1876, played through till 1925 as a solo thing, and then in 1926, we went on to become an online league, and the online league is still going, and we are currently in between the 1946 and 47 seasons. So the reason I bring all that up is I'm going to create a new league that I will hopefully turn into an online league, just like I did with Figment League. This one will be called Mythic League, and it is going to be somewhat similar, but not completely similar to Figment. What will be similar is it will be fictional players. What will not be similar is that it will use historic teams. So having said that, you might say, well, why don't we start a historical game? Well, in theory, you could start a historical game, but the way they kind of jury rigged 19th century baseball in OTP, you don't get the actual kind of franchise history of the 19th century, which was chaotic to say the least. From 1871 to 75, you had the National Association, and teams came and go, came and went from that uh, seemingly at a whim. It was very cheap to get a club in there. There were clubs from uh, fairly small places like Troy, New York, and things like that, which was a textile capital in the 19th century, but it was not like it was in New York City or Chicago or something like that, or Boston or Philadelphia, you know, the biggest cities in the country at the time. So there was no stability. It was also a um, loosely managed organization. So teams, if they didn't feel like making a road trip at the end of the year because they weren't in contention, they just didn't go. So you had teams with various, various games played, and it was very chaotic. Players would jump from team to team. If they felt like it, it was just pretty much utter chaos. 1876, they create the National League. Okay, well, you could start in 1876 then, right, Joe? Uh, no, actually, you can't. Because, again, in 1876, there were only eight teams. Then uh, they kicked two teams out, New York and Philadelphia, because they decided to act like it was still the National Association. We're not going to make our final road trips of the year because we're out of it and we don't want to spend the money. So they get booted. Then there's six teams. So... That also had kind of a lot of craziness going on. Then you had the American Association that came in. You had the Union Union Association that came in. You had the Players League that came in. All of this took part. All of this took place before they even got into the early 1890s. So by 1892, there was only one league. They called it the Big League, and that was the National League. It had 12 teams in it. They made it through the 1899. Then they dropped down to eight teams, and they went into the 20th century with eight teams. There was also a league called the Western League, which decided they would become a major league as well. They changed their name to the American League. They played one final season as a so-called minor league in 1900, and then they went major in 1901 and took on the National League. Had a three-year war before they finally kind of settled it up and became Major League Baseball as we kind of kind of know it today because obviously there have been a lot of changes um, in the last uh, 30-ish years since uh, kind of Bud Selig took over as commissioner and so on and so forth. So I'm not going to get into that. But what I am going to get into, that the that whole rigmarole was why I am not making a historical game here. So we are going to make a custom game. So no, I do not want challenge mode. Okay, so now you can create the league here too by clicking this button. And again, what it does in OOTP is it's kind of workaround for this chaos that existed in the 1800s was they basically took 
the 1901 lineup of teams and just pasted it back through 1871. So you're going to have more teams than there were historically in some cases. You're going to have, you know, teams that didn't exist for another 30 years in here. So it works pretty good if you don't care about being historically accurate in terms of your franchises. Now me, I'm kind of OCD about this kind of thing. So I want, if I'm going to do something that's going to be quote unquote historical, then I want it to look quote unquote historical. So I will not be using this. So we go fictional. Okay. Well, fictional is great. All right. So we want one league and we'll go with eight teams because there are actually more than eight. There were nine, but we'll add that ninth team manually. So you can just do this, right? Um, we don't want any of the real world leagues. Notice the, that Japan is gone because there was kind of a big blow up about rights to the, the Nippon professional baseball last year. And so it is no longer supported in OOTP, which is kind of a shame, but it is what it is. So at this point, I will usually click advanced mode, right? So I'm going to call this mythic league baseball. Notice how it has the same initials as Major League Baseball. It's kind of cool, right? We're going to start in 1871. Now we have to add a league. And so you end up going back to this and this and this. And I kind of did this out of order. Um, actually, we want one. We'll just do this way, right? And we want nine. Then we go next step. So it's going to do all this stuff. And it's going to create a whole bunch of teams that are going to be in wackadoodle places like Jacksonville, San Antonio, San Jose, San Diego, LA. None of those places should have a team. But the game doesn't, it doesn't really kind of figure that stuff out for you. You have to do it yourself. So we are going to have no minor leagues. We are going to call this Major League Baseball. MLB. Then we're going to call this the National Association. Whoops, spelling is fundamental. I'm going to call this the National Association. Now we have our teams, the Brooklyn Steelers. I don't think so. I'm going to paste. I'm going to enter the actual teams that existed in 1871, starting with the Boston Red Stockings. So this is the team that is now the Braves. There were two teams that actually started in 1871 and made it all the way through. Now, MLB does not recognize the 1871 to 75 era because that was the National Association and not the National League. But point of fact, the Boston Red, Sto Red Stockings and the Chicago White Stockings joined the National League and became ultimately, through uh, several different uh, nickname changes, the Chicago Cubs and the Boston Braves, who obviously went to Milwaukee and then went to Atlanta, and are now the Atlanta Braves. So the the abbreviation is always an interesting one, right? So if you want to follow kind of the you know the 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 history of the game, then you would want to use the actual the actual abbreviation. I actually don't know it off the top of my head. Um, if you follow like the Layman database format there is one and i can look it up and i will look it up but i'm not going to do it right now um, then we'll go with the chicago white stockings so our team one and team two will be the teams that are going to make it through ultimately all the way up to current day and then we have teams that did not make it the cleveland forest cities and i'm just going to give them basic uh, abbreviations right now. The Fort Wayne Kekiangas. Yes, indeed. The New York Mutuals. Sounds like an insurance company. Hey, New York Mets. No, sorry. Uh, Philadelphia Athletics. And I couldn't... And Whoops. Sorry about that. Hit the wrong key there. No, did it again. All right. P-H-I-L-A-D-E-L-P-H-I-A, -E -E Philadelphia, Athletics, P-H-A. Uh, Rockford, Forest Cities. You think they would have come up with something a little bit more unique than, uh, you know, ripping off Cleveland or vice versa? 
Who knows who had it first? I don't. There's Troy, the Troy Haymakers. And the Washington Olympics, the first of many teams to give it a go in the nation's capital and ultimately fail. All right, so we've got that set. We're going to go uh, next step. We definitely don't want the 2023 settings. So we're going to go all the way to the bottom. Very first year. And we will adjust strategy when advancing to the new year. I am not going to hold an inaugural fantasy draft. I honestly don't care who goes on what team or anything like that. We're just going to we're just going to make do here. Now, season start date. This is going to be a little interesting. So, when did the 1871 season start? Well, in fact, it started on May 4th. So, we're going to go with May 4 and again, not 2023. Uh, and yeah, it's not 162 games. It was something like, uh, 28, 30. I'm looking at the, looking to see who played the most games. It looks like the Boston Red Stockings played 30 games. Uh, 31 actually. New York played 33. Washington played 32. Some of them were obviously ties because their win-loss record doesn't add up to those numbers. So we're going to go with a 32-game schedule. There are eight other teams. That would be four against each one. The series length is going to be one game. And I'm I, unfortunately, I can't change that, which is pretty annoying. Um, so we're going to move on. Did I forget to change the date? Uh, we want 1871. Okay. So now you can come in here and you can change all your settings. All right, so... What we were planning on doing for this league is in my Figment League, we have all the ratings are off. You can't tell who's who, what's what, you know, in terms of how, how good these guys are. So I'm going to change this to be one to five for current, and I'm going to change potentials to be off. Okay. Our other ratings will be one to five. That's things like speed and base running, bunting, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, overall talent. Overall rating. I'm going to turn these off as well. People get to fall in love too much with the stars in this game in terms of seeing, oh, he's a five star. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm turning that off. So you will see your current ratings on a scale of one to five. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, generality in there. It's pretty generalized, right? A five could be anywhere from, you know, an 80 to a 100 if you're on the one to 100 scale. All right, player ratings displayed relative. Yeah, overall rating based on all players, not positions. Yeah, I'm going to leave that on too. We will use coaching system. I'm going to turn off the owner goals for now. They may get turned on later. The nice thing is in this game, you can tweak almost everything after you, you start playing. Not literally everything, but there is a lot of customization you can do even after you start your league. We will use face gen. We will have injuries. We'll use the normal OTP classic uh, player fatigue. We're going to put, um, I, I might put none. These guys played Iron Man baseball. We're not having suspensions, at least not yet. Uh, personalities. I guess we can leave those on. Morale, chemistry. I'm not going to change any of this stuff. We're gonna, just going to go with you know the normal thing here. And, all right, then we'll come back to here. We have our teams. They're all lined up. Our rules. Okay, so roster size. Um, we definitely don't want 26 players. And I'm going to put the, the reserve roster to 15 because there were no minor leagues. So the rosters were small. I'm turning all these down as small as I can get them. Basically, um, no age limits, the batter injury. I always set this to 14 because it allows me to do a sim of a week at a time. And I always think it, I'm always thinking ahead to my online league. When I set up an online league, we do one week sims. That's how I, that's how I run my stuff. One week at a time, one week per day, um, Monday through Friday. So I want to make sure that I get that in there now rather than have to worry about it later 
because the theory with this one is I'm going to do 1871 to 1900 and get through all that wackadoodle 19th century stuff solo and update it, and I'll probably put it on the OTP Dynasty or League form, uh, League Forum, and maybe I'll do videos too just to kind of update along the way so you can see how things develop. But ultimately, this is going to turn into an online league. We'll leave the 60-day extended DL trading. Eh, I don't know that we need trading. Um, yeah, we don't need this for now, for sure. Training of recently drafted. Well, we don't want this on. Um, it can be immediate. I'm, I'm not even going to have a draft, to be honest. We're turning that off for now. All right, then we go financials. So we want to go again early. Whoops, early, early. Right, mass adjust. We don't need to do that right now. So we've set everything to be basically dirt cheap, is what we've done. Ticket price baseline seventeen cents. Uh, I think they charged. Well, I don't know what they charged in the National Association. The National League, I believe, charged a quarter or fifty cents or something like that. So a little bit more expensive, but that's also a few years down the road. Um, the financial system, we'll leave that on. We are going to have reserve clause rules. Uh, what else do we have in here? Revenue sharing, all this stuff. I kind of leave this alone because it doesn't really have much impact. I'll turn the, the luxury tax off. A lot of this stuff doesn't have any real impact. And we'll go to options. We're going to leave that off. Allow rainouts. I guess for now, I'll probably turn that off when we go to online league because it tends to annoy the GMs. We're not going to force a start. We're not going to do any of this. I'm going to use a custom schedule and I'll set that up later, probably in the second video. Uh, spring training, nope. No spring training. No all star game. Uh, we're going to disable the playoffs. We're not going to play tiebreaker games. We're not going to have automatic evolution. We will do this, we will do this, uh, we will do that. Nope, uh, yes, creation modifiers, yes. Not real rookies. Um, okay, then I'm gonna turn off all my awards because we don't have any, war any awards yet. Now this is just for historical accuracy. They weren't picking MVPs in 1871. And they didn't have a Cy Young Award, they didn't have a Hall of Fame. The milestone stuff can stay. Players. Default player origin. I want... Uh, where is it? It's under functions. Reset to 100% League Nation. 99% and 1% from random. That's fine. I'm going to do a lot of heavy tweaking of where people come from. We're going to have uh, none. We're going to have none. We're going to have none, and we're going to have none. A lot of turning things off in here for this. Stats, we're going to go very high. We're going to go with, again, 1871, which is probably already in here, but just to make sure, we will make sure, right? And it's a one-man rotation. Number of relievers, zero. Number of relievers, zero. Uh, hook for starting, very slow. Very slow. Use of relievers, very rarely. Closers, stamina, very high. Pinch hit, very rarely. Pinch hit for position players, very rarely. Defensive substitutions, very rarely. Stealing bases. The strategy stuff you can kind of leave alone. Uh, and then we have our league totals, uh, lock, league totals. No, why would we do that? Use pre-calculated modifiers for accuracy. Use auto calc. We'll do auto calc. Uh, we're not going to turn that on. I'll leave all of these alone. They should basically be set up kind of in theory based on selecting this. We're not doing live start. And I think that's pretty much it everything under advanced. I don't think we need to do anything here either. 
So one thing that I cannot do, which I would do for historical purposes, and I hope nobody's going to jump down my throat about this, is I would turn the color line on. Only because that's how it was, and I'm not condoning or supporting the fact that we had segregation in baseball. Um, but this would allow me to also have the Negro Leagues be a thing, and you know that was a that was an organization that has a pretty rich history of, of its own. And um, I would like to have that in here, so I may do it. It's a little bit more difficult to do. If you do play historically, at least, the, and I actually I shouldn't say this for sure, but I know in previous versions of the game you were able to turn the color line on if you were playing historically because the Negro League teams are built into the historical database for OTP. So you will get them starting in 1920, I think, you know, with the Negro National League and later the Negro American League and all that stuff. And the Eastern Colored League, I think, was the first Eastern League because the Negro National League was kind of a Western, and by Western I mean like Chicago-centered um, kind of league. The Midwest, really, not the West-West, like what we think of as the West now. Um, so I may I may incorporate that. Figment, Figment League, on the other hand, we've been, uh, you know, we've been, uh, what's the, op the opposite of segregated, integrated. We've been integrated since the very beginning. So there is no segregation in, and there is no segregation in Figment, and there never has been. So we won't have a Jackie Robinson because we've had black players going back to the 1870s. So that is going to uh, to do it here. We are ready to actually start the game. So we're just going to click this and start. Right now it has my information in here, which is fine. I am I'm going to play in commissioner mode. I am not going to turn this on. I'm also not going to take a job. We're going to hit. Uh, I'll put general manager only. We'll hit start game. Now it's going to do its thing. It's going to create players, and I'm going to have to heavily, heavily edit these players because I did not use a custom, uh, a custom world dot dat file with the population proportional to you know 1870 as opposed to 2023. So if we, let's just go in and look at the roster, for example, of our team here. So. Actually, these names aren't completely terrible. You probably would not have somebody named Brad or Austin or Josh uh, back in the 1870s. You might have a Josh, maybe. Joshua is a biblical name. Um, and maybe you'd have a Brad. I don't know. Austin seems a little unlikely, though. That's a you know more of a modern, modern take. Not that I have anything against that name. Uh, Eric would be another one. Probably not all that common. He's also appears to be black or Hispanic. Uh, he is black. Okay. So this is the kind of stuff that I would probably edit um, if I want to. Again, I'm not trying to be controversial. I'm just trying to be historical. And, um, you know, then we could have a, a uh, Jackie Robinson when we get to the 40s and so on and so forth. So. Um, I'm going to save all that kind of editing, tweaking stuff for the second video. I'm going to do another video here sometime in the not too distant future, hopefully. So as I try to build this, but um, for now, I'm going to wrap it up. So um, my name's Joe. This has been Hexed Encountered Sports Edition. And uh, yeah, please consider liking, sharing, or subscribing if, you're, if you enjoy this video. I do some sports stuff. I probably do... I shouldn't say probably. I definitely do more war game stuff. Um, but I do sports stuff. There just aren't as many sports games that come out as regularly as war games do. So that that kind of factors to into it somewhat. Um, plus, I, I, I'm pretty well set on what I play and what I like. And the new stuff, I don't really... I don't really explore all that much, and maybe I should, and maybe I will, but for now I'm not. So just be aware that a lot of what I do is, is war game related. So if you're into war games, that's great. I do do some sports stuff, though, and I will continue to do sports stuff. So, such as this. And there will be more to this series as well, and I'm rambling. So apologies for that. So, uh, yeah, please consider liking, sharing, and or subscribing if you already are a subscriber. Thank you very much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. So until next time, this is Joe, and as always, I wish you guys happy gaming.